Oh, here you are. You're here and we're here. I've got a good bat costume here to show you. Didn't matter what race you were, what color you were, what religion you were, what language you spoke. You watched Mr. Dress Up. Ernie Coombs, Mr. Dress Up, I mean, he was just so kind and gentle. Ernie never forgot a child within him, and that informs everything that he does with children. And Ernie Coombs came to Canada together. Mr. Dress Up, The Magic of Make Believe is a heartfelt documentary that celebrates the life and work of Ernie Coombs, the iconic Canadian children's television personality who encouraged generations of kids to be their best selves. The documentary premiered earlier at the Toronto International Film Festival and won the People's Choice Documentary Award. And we are now joined by the film's director, Robert McCallum. Good morning, Robert. Congratulations on the huge, huge success. Thank you so much. It's still overwhelming. I don't know how to process it other than look into my tickle trunk and just, you know, imagine the day away. Honestly, from my generation, I watched Mr. Dress Up every single day. He was definitely a part of my household and part of so many of our homes growing up. I'm assuming yours as well. Oh, very much so. I don't think there's many Canadians over the age of 30 that wouldn't count Mr. Dress Up as one of those staple people in their lives. You know, whether you saw him every day, 1030, CBC, Channel 6, depending on your region, <laughs> or you actually got lucky enough to see him on his live tour where he would go anywhere, not just the big venues, but even like the high school auditoriums in towns that you may never have heard of in this country. That was the power of Mr. Dress Up. Yeah, agreed. Now, you went to school close to here. You were at Sheridan College, correct? That's right. And you directed, wrote, and you were the executive producer of this documentary. Correct. Wow, you had your hands in every little part of it. Now, why did you choose to do this documentary on Ernie Combs? Well, I mean, the fact is there wasn't one that existed. When the idea came, you know, we had seen the Mr. Rogers documentary by Morgan mm -hmm. Neville, and that really, I think, opened people's eyes to a different way of living and a different kind of philosophy. And being the dad I was at the time with a five-year-old son and a two-year-old daughter, I wanted to show them some of the things that I grew up with. And of course, Mr. Dressup was right at the top of the list. And when I put an episode on for them, they just ate it up. And I mean, they love current stuff that's out there that's faster than I can process with colors that don't exist in the real world and a constant cacophony of sounds. But Mr. Dressup was the antithesis of that. You know, it was yeah. just this quiet, gentle, patient show where they could be in the moment with something without interruptions without stakes and they just wanted more and more and i thought man this is not just something of its time this is not just a dated format that i grew up with this is something that still has the power to impact kids today because let's face it when you hear a joke for the first time when you're four you hear the three little pigs for the first time it's still <laughs> brand new to you yeah yeah and that's yeah. what makes this show so magical my son said you know this is a good show, and maybe if my baby sister Scarlett, who was two at the time, watches it, maybe she'll grow up to be a good person. How do you oh, how do you argue with that? Oh, that is the sweetest thing ever. Wow, I love the yeah. impact that Mr. Dressup has had on so many people throughout Canada. Obviously, yourself. Um, what can people expect from this film? What are we going to get out of it? Well, I mean, for those of us that know Mr. Dressup, they're going to get that trip down memory lane that mm -hmm. they yearn for. But they're also going to get more than they're probably expecting. They're going to see more of the work that goes beyond behind the scenes. They're going to see some of the decisions that were made, some of the behind the scenes fights to make this program matter. This was not a job for people. This was not just a career. This was a mission where a talented group of writers, producers and directors, and of course our on-screen performers of Ernie Coombs and Judith Lawrence, who was the performer and puppeteer for Casey and Finnegan and other characters, mm -hmm. all came together to make something last and make something stick. And it all started with saying, hey, TV for kids can be more than pie in the face. Pie in the face is great. I love <laughs> pie in the face. But I also like something with substance. Give me a little bit of meat in that pie for me to chew on, if you know what I mean. Yes, 100%, I know what you mean. Uh, what was something that you found either shocking or very surprising that you learned about uh, while filming this documentary? There, there's a lot. I mean, you could talk about any kind of production method technique or how things changed and pivoted with what was going on in the outside world. But I tell you what, the biggest thing that I learned 
along the lines of how it could still impact kids today, which is what we talked about. Oh, I grew up with watching this and oh, it was such a big part of my childhood. Watching it now as a dad, let's get real. Watching it now as a dad <laughs> made me want to be a better dad. Yeah. Seeing the time and patience, Mr. Dress Up had for Casey and Finnegan. There's no phone distractions. There's nothing coming up. There's no meetings. He was just there with them. And if that doesn't make you want to be a better parent watching it through adult eyes, then I don't know. So this this show still has the power to, of course, help kids. But when parents sit down and co-view with them, they'll probably want to re relook at their lives and, and maybe try to be a little bit better. And what greater gift is that? Well, you've just given me something to do this afternoon. Thanks for that, Robert. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, where can people watch? Well, the big day is October 10th, Tuesday, October 10th on Prime Video. It drops everywhere around the world, not just in Canada. And we've had tons of messages from people in the U.S., Canadians living abroad. If you've got access to Prime Video, October 10th is the day for you to check out Mr. Dress Up, The Magic of Make-Believe. All right. Well, thank you so much, Robert, for joining us. Uh, absolute pleasure.